Good morning, people. This is vlog 488. We are 12, 12 away from the big 500. If you're new to the show, this is Fireball Malibu Vlog. My name is Fireball Tim. Yes, that's my legal name. And on this show, it's all about cars. It's all about the beach lifestyle, healthy, positive, but most of all fun. We do all kinds of cool things um, in the film industry with cars and with all kinds of interesting people in, uh, in Southern California. We live in Malibu. We do tons of events, tons of car shows. I got my own car show called Wheels and Waves that's happening next weekend over at Gladstones. And today I'm just poking around town this morning just for a little while. I got my new children's book that's going into a number of stores. I'm taking those books, uh, just giving them samples. But it's Monday and there's a whole host of things that could happen anytime. This town is full of amazing creative people and you never know who you're gonna run into or what coolness you're gonna see. Let's spend the day doing that. Good show! driving the 2017 uh, Hyundai Santa Fe. I've had this car for just about a week. It goes back tomorrow, I'll get swapped with something else. So far, this car has been pretty amazing as it is with most Hyundais. This being the SUV version, it's seat six, maybe more. It kind of all depends on how big you are. We'll have some specs on the car towards the end of the vlog, so, you know, watch until the end and I'll be able to give you that. Like I said, you know, with most Hyundais, if you decide that this is the kind of car for you, uh, chances are it's always a safe bet. The quality is great, the ride is smooth, the performance, the sound, everything about the car is pretty top notch. This guy walking back up the street, not sure you can see him, uh, he's a friend of mine, his name's David. He walks up and down our street 15 times, all the way to the top, then all the way back down again, does it 15 times. Takes him about three hours. He does that almost every day. I don't walk up and down the street. I do a different kind of workout. But today I am walking down the street because I just got back to the pad and Kathy says we need chips for lunch. So, you know, I'm getting some exercise to go get a bag of chips. What are you doing? I'm starting the initial sketch for how big this costume's gonna be. So that's our first step. A short person has to wear this, so I'm probably about this height. So I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna ink this in. Mm -hmm.
mentioned, uh, I've been driving this 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe for the last week. And, you know, I asked Kathy, I, I kind of keep these, this information from her, but I asked her, how much would you expect to pay for this car? And she was, we were, we were kind of acknowledging some of the wood trim and some of the really nice things about it. And off the, the top of her head, she said 60. Now, the car looks really nice. I mean, take a look at some of these shots. The interior is really slick. It's got a really great design theme. That Cobra Center console looks really cool. The exterior is really clean, it's got a nice stance, it comes in nine different colors, it's, you know, it's really a solid looking car, it performs well, it's 20, 28 on, on gas, you know, 20, 20 in the city, 28 on the highway, it's about 240 horsepower, at least the version that I'm driving right now, but the blow mind is, you ready for this, you ready for the blow mind, you ready to have your mind, 25 to 38,000. You can get this car out the door at 25000 You can throw all the kinds of stuff, pretty much everything you can get for up to 38000 Now, okay, that's close to forty, dollars but still, as far as an SUV goes and all the things that comes with it, very impressive. These cars are always fun to drive. Uh, uh, it's one of those kinds of cars that you get in and you don't have to worry. And it pretty much looks good doing whatever it does. So uh, you know, I'm always happy when these cars show up because it means for the next week, I'm going to be driving something cool. And speaking of something cool, I got a quick story. I went out the other day, uh, went to do some errands, and then I had to go to the Sprint store. I had to take Kathy's phone because the phone wasn't working properly. So I, I on, on the way over there, you know, you get into your own way. You get into your head as to how these things are going to re get resolved. And then within that process, I suddenly kind of woke up and I, I decided, you know what, based on knowing that what my response is going to be, that I want my outcome to be good, that I, I, I want to commit to the fact that this is going to be resolved. I said to my, I said in my mind that this is going to get resolved in five minutes flat. So. Literally, I put my phone on a five minute timer from the, wo the moment I walked in. And, and, and not only did I say that, but I said that this is gonna be a great experience. It's gonna be a fantastic experience. I'm gonna walk out of there happy as a clam with a big smile on my face. Now, I set the timer, I walk into the Sprint store, I go and I give the, the phone to the guy, and he does something to the phone that I didn't know that you could do, and he restarts it, and literally to the dot, five minutes to the dot, he hands me the phone back and says, there you go, all fixed. But what I really didn't expect was what happened next. He says to me that your Google tablet that you got when you first got the phones two years ago uh, is due for a renewal. And I said, I, I don't remember getting a Google tablet. And if I did, I wouldn't have used it because I don't use Google stuff. I, I'm an all Apple guy. And then he tells me that I've been paying 30 bucks a month on this ever since that I got this thing for the last two years. This blows my mind, of course, and I was not happy about spending all that money on something that I wasn't even using. He takes a brief moment. He looks at me and says, huh, interesting. How can we make up for that? Wasn't really sure how, uh, how to respond to someone saying, how can we make up for that? And then he points over, over in that direction of the store and he goes, hey, how about a brand new iPad? And as I sat there stunned, him telling me that he was gonna give me a brand new iPad, to make up for the fact that I wasn't using this Google. Yeah, Sprint went from here to way up here. And five minutes later, I walk out with Kathy's phone fully fixed and I walk out with a brand new $700 iPad. What's the point of all this? Am I lucky? Did this just randomly happen? Is this just like, you know, coolness surrounds me? No. What happened was my thoughts about this whole situation were negative initially. I was concerned that it wasn't gonna work out. And then I consciously made the decision that it was gonna work out and I committed to that fact. And as a result of me committing to that fact, all things worked out. Now, this may sound like a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but I'm trying to get it across to you guys that if you think positive thoughts, positive results are insured. I work with 12 different manufacturers that send me a different car every Wednesday. I live a really cool life and get to do all kinds of really cool things. But it wasn't always that way. But now that it is, I get to ride on this boat and do all these cool things and be able to talk to you guys and try to convince you guys that you need to get out there and live a positive life. You need to show appreciation for others. You need to be grateful and you need to be committed to doing what you love. So that's it for today's vlog. Thanks for listening. Uh, I hope it wasn't too long. But tomorrow I got a really cool top secret meeting that's going to be happening in the morning. And then I'm going to a premiere at Honda. She's going to check out the premiere of a, of, well, of a Honda. I can't say which one it is. I told them I wouldn't say anything. But we're going to go there. I'm going to take all you guys with me. And we're going to have a blast. So that's it. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Wait, because we're closing down on 500 blogs. Ah!